many changes have happened in between versions. We're going to have to go through them this episode. But in any case, welcome to another episode of New Version Every Sunrise. But if you die, you switch back a version. And we are, in fact, moving on to the new version, which is the version that you see in the top left of the screen. Minecraft Alpha version 1.2.0 underscore 02. And we do not want to die, which will be very difficult because we are going to the nether, or at least we will attempt to go to the nether today. Will we make it that far? No idea. But in any case... Stay tuned if you want to find out whether we in fact survive the nether in this old version where you do not have any sprinting, you do not have any, well you do have sneaking now, it's a new thing that they just added just last episode, was it? Um, yeah, so sneaking, but you don't have any sprinting so you can't run away from things very easily, but uh, we need to go ahead and try to get to the nether, which means trying to find lava, first of all. And the idea is because we, if you guys did not see the previous episode, we have just made it into a new base over here. And our main base is back pretty much where the compass leads. So the compass leads over there. That's pretty much where our main base is, although it leads actually past the main base. But once we get back to the main base, we won't be able to make it back to where we are right now because there are so many oceans in the way that we will not be able to make a trail that we can follow across the oceans. So we are going to try to go through the nether because that has just been added. This version, we are going into the nether and probably going to die. But if we do not die, then we have a quicker way to get back home and get our stuff because clocks have been added in version 1.2.0 which means that we can now go underground and keep track of when the time is going on so we don't have that problem anymore of we have to have a timer running to try to guess when the day night cycle is done while we're underground we would now have a clock so that we can tell but we have to actually go and actually get the gold at the base to get our clock and as you can see our armor is almost dead and our sword is almost dead and yeah good things to have to go into the nether and our materials are pretty much back at the house except for seven iron but we shall be needing those most likely for something or other like a bucket to make the nether portal because we don't have any diamonds so we can't make the nether portal by mining obsidian so okay well then we're gonna see how this goes and see you guys um yeah see you guys after the intro, and hopefully things don't go horribly wrong. The problem, the reason we are going to the nether, there's a sheep over there, hello sir. Um, there's a cave over there, uh, where was the cave? We need to go ahead and check. But the reason we are going through the nether is to make a easier way to track our way back home, because to be able to combat better, we need a bow, we need to get string and arrows, and we have things. The materials for that, we have almost all of it back at our home base. So we need to go ahead and get there. Now, the problem is, to get there is very dangerous, going through the nether. And, if our portals glitch, then we have a big problem. Because the nether, let's just pause that for a second. Uh, actually, let's not pause that for a second. Let's find out where we're going. We're going to that cave over there is where I think we should go. There's a spider down there. Okay. Um. Yeah, new version every sunrise, but if you die, you switch back a version. We are probably going to die, but we shall see. Okay. Spin around 180, spin around 360, spin around 180, spin around 360. Trying to keep track of which direction we are going. Spin around 180. Been around 360. There we go. We are going this way. We need to go to the cave over here. Um, yeah, so the nether is obviously dangerous. That's a skeleton, which is also dangerous. Okay, let's go ahead and get rid of this guy. There are no shields in this version either. Okay, oh, no, 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 no. Oh, and our sh uh, sword is broken. Um, and the skeleton can shoot us in the water. Let's go ahead and quickly build this up. Oh, dear. Okay, yeah, the skeleton can totally shoot us. Oh! Well, who would have thought that the challenge would be not even getting to the nether? Well, then, we are going to apparently this time try to get to the nether. And we need to go back a version. So, new version every sunrise. But if you die, you switch back your version. So, we are going back to the version that we ended last episode on. So, see you guys there. Okay, well... We are now back in version. We are back in version 1.1.2 underscore 01, which we ended last episode in. Now, you may be aware of the fact there is no nether in this version. However, we are going to go to the nether anyways. You may be wondering, how can we go to the nether? Well, there is no nether. Well, the idea would be 
if we can make it to the cave, if we can get our resources ready, whoop, don't fall off, almost walk forward straight off the edge of the uh, platform, that would be like instant death, and then go back a farther version. <laughs> um, let's not do that, but if we can make it, to the cave, make it through, then we can, we need to make our bucket again, um, we could be ready to go to the nether so that hopefully later in this episode, we should be able to just simply advance a version again, and we will be ready to go, and then we can just simply go. That is possible. Okay, so let's make our bucket once again. We need a bucket to grab the lava with, that is why we are going to the cave, so let's go ahead and grab the bucket, there we go, and let's go ahead and head outside we are safe for the time being because it is daytime is where we are being right now in the time being so let's go ahead and try to find this cave this cave should be over the hill there are no monsters out because it is daytime but let's go over some of the changes that have happened in between this version and the version that we started the episode in that we shall hopefully get back to later and we need to find a way out of here we need to make a way out of here so that we can get out of here Okay, we need to find some lava. Hopefully we can find some down here somewhere. Okay, so between version 1.1.2 underscore 01, which we are in right now, and version 1.2, which is a whole number change for the uh, the, the second digit there, um, this is the way to get up. Oh, okay, if we dig down here, we might be able to get down to some place where there's lava. We want to be able to grab some lava and build a nether portal. That is the idea. Do we have any torches? We don't have any torches. We need to go ahead and make some torches. Oh, before we go, we need to go ahead and get some trees. Okay, what changes have happened? As we already said, there have been clocks added. There have been, okay, let's go ahead and mine this tree. There we go. There have been clocks added. There has been the nether added. There has been netherrack, soul sand, glowstone, covered pumpkin, carved pumpkin, not covered pumpkin. A covered pumpkin would be very interesting. Um, I mean, you could even say that like this uh, this block of, uh, of dirt here is a covered pumpkin because what's on the inside of it? It might be a pumpkin on the inside. You never know. But, uh, but in any case, there are carved pumpkins. There is jack-o'-lanterns, nether portals, as we already said. Clocks have been added, so what we are doing right now, going underground, and we need to keep track of the day-night cycle. We will not need to do that very much once we get our clock, but to get the clock, we need to go back to the main base where all of our gold is. So, okay, we got some wood. Where did the cave go? It went over here. Actually, it didn't go anywhere, come to think of it. Okay, where is this? Okay, this is just... Uh, oh, there's a tower there. You can see our tower way on, off in the distance there. It looks very nice, very... Um, Conspicuous, which is the way we like it. It is standing out very nicely so we can see it. Okay, let's head down here after making our torches. Oh, we do have some torches. Okay, that is very good. That is very good. We need to make some more torches, though. We can now use their sticks because we don't need to worry about saving them. There we go. Okay, what other changes? There have been loads more changes that we will see, perhaps, or at least we will get to the version where we could potentially see them later this episode. Um, okay, place down a torch. Oh, there's some iron here. We need to go ahead and uh, just safetyify this cave first. We should get this iron while we're here. That would be ideal. But we have, uh, ooh, you know what else we need to do? Actually, sorry, before we leave, before we talk about the other changes to the versions, we need to check where the sun is so that we can go ahead and set the timer because we still need the timer. We still need the timer to find out where we are at. The sun is nowhere to be seen. Nowhere to be seen. Oh, it's way back there. Uh, is that going up or down? Let's see. Let's put our edge of our crosshair right at the sun and see if it is going down. Okay, so it is almost nighttime. It is almost nighttime. We shall be ready to start the nighttime adventures, which will be very dangerous in a minute or two. The timer has been set, hopefully for the last time, if we manage to actually survive and go on to the next version. Otherwise, we're in some problems. Okay. So, we now can tell when the day starts, when we have to change versions. So, let's go ahead and head downstairs once again. So, you were wondering what versions have, what uh, what changes have been made between this version and the version that we started with and the version we will get to again later this episode. Well, the changes, okay, so we got clocks, we got a whole bunch of things. Glowstone dust, cooked fish, and raw fish have been added. It would have been a lot of fun to start the episode fishing. But the problem with that is that we don't have any string, which is why we don't have a bow. And since we don't have a bow or a string, we cannot 
be fishing. Um, but yeah, fishing is very slow, but it is a thing that you can use to get food, which is very nice. So, okay, let's go ahead and head down here if we can. These sounds are awesome! If you guys have not seen the previous episodes, when you try to play Minecraft without any sounds, it definitely makes it uh, quite a interesting experience, quite, uh, quite silent and makes it very difficult with not being able to hear monsters coming up. But now we can in fact hear monsters coming up, and we can in fact tell that, wow, there's another cave. Ah, that was, okay. <laughs> um, that would be a skeleton. That would be a skeleton. We need to go ahead and prepare this. We need to go ahead and block this off because there are too many cave entrances, so the monsters will be able to come too easily. Okay, so that section is blocked off. This section is blocked off by nature of the fact, and the monitor just shut off once again. But okay, up, oh, up, oh, wrong button, wrong button. Come on, come on, go, turn on. Okay, is it working? Aha, there we go. Okay, so we got this section blocked off by nature of the fact that it is a big drop down there. So we need to go ahead and just head down here, try to find some lava, and discuss that fish have been added, which is very nice. Fishing, rather, not fish. Fish don't get added until, what was it, 1.14 or something? It's quite later on that fish get added. Um, we need to go ahead and keep blocking off pathways as we are going. Otherwise, we will find ourselves in a bit of a um, dangerous situation. Skeletons could shoot through there in theory which is not very good of a theory. I mean, it is a good theory in the fact that it is very much true. But, uh, but yeah, we, we don't want to see any, any skeletons shooting through there. We don't want any of that stuff. We just want to simply go ahead and find some lava, which is nowhere to be found. We apparently need to go down to the... Uh, the well, this looks like a good way to get down. Let's go ahead and break this from a distance. Sometimes, at least in the Pocket Edition, gravel floats in the air but it looks like this one is not, so that is good to go. Okay! Okay, we've also got zombie pigments added, we've got gas added, it's like the whole bunch of the nether stuff has been added just like that, which is very, very nice indeed. We have a lot to explore once we get there, if we get there. If we die right here, then we go ahead and go back a version. In case you're wondering why I'm not using the shovel, it's just because we want to save our durability on our shovel. Um, okay, so pickaxe. We need to actually, oh, before we go down into danger, we need to go ahead and repair, uh, not repair, but make a new pickaxe. That is what we need desperately. We have our bucket. We have, uh, we have a dandelion. Okay, we don't need a dandelion. We do need a crafting table. Okay, we got that. Let's put that down there. Quickly make a new pickaxe. Two wood like this. Make sticks. And let's make two pickaxes, actually. We have had plenty of experience with mining. If you guys saw the episode where we spent the entire episode searching for diamonds and did not find a single diamond at all, hardly found much of anything, actually, um, that is what we aim to fix by heading to this area far enough away from the main um, base where we were at. Might as well grab a couple of iron pieces while we are here. Aha. Uh -huh. Looks like we need to go ahead and break through here. Okay, but we also have world generation. As we said, the nether is added, but also apparently biomes, I think it said. Let's just go ahead and scroll the wiki page. If you guys are interested, go ahead and check out this particular version in the link in the description, which takes you to the version history of this Java edition. Just find this version in the list. But yeah, so basically... Now it says something very interesting. It says higher lighting values are required the deeper they are to keep mobs from spawning. So in the newer versions, isn't it the case where mobs don't spawn, uh, mobs only spawn below light level 7, was it? Um, seven. So every block is divided into different light levels. So basically, where you can see the torches there, that's the stone behind it is the brightest block. One block away is slightly darker, one block farther is slightly darker. As you keep going farther, it gets darker and darker. And so, like, the torch, I think, would be, like, plus 15 or something. And, oh. Just hearing sound effects. Hearing sound effects sounded like a cave sound effect. Okay, then. Uh, we are jumping down too quickly. We won't be able to make our way out. Okay, well, this is a problem. Um, okay. Okay, whoops. Falling gravel. Falling gravel. Let's do the torch trick. 
there we go. That's a trick for those of you guys who are unfamiliar with it. You can go ahead and place down a torch, and gravel will fall onto the torch and break, and you can break a whole pile of gravel all at once that way, which is very nice indeed. Okay, it says skeletons now hold bows, which is something they apparently did not do before. If you guys noticed that, then you are very observant, because uh, I didn't, uh, didn't notice that myself, actually, previously, but apparently they did not hold bows before, but now they do. Okay, so we are getting down closer to Lava Lair, and we shall be able to... Uh, but yeah, that thing with... Uh, okay, so so talking about light levels, in the newer versions, was it light level 7 or less that mobs do not spawn... Uh, do spawn at, they do not spawn higher than that. But this says that higher lighting values are required the deeper they are to keep mobs from spawning. So that sounds like what that's saying is that if you are lower down, like, you might need a light level of 7, or you might need a light level of 8 or 9 or 10 to stop mobs from spawning. That is quite possible. Okay, so we found some water. That's not particularly helpful, but it's something. Hopefully there's no skeletons sneaking up from right down there. Uh-huh. We made it down to... a dead end. Well, that was well planned. Um, okay. What exactly are we going to do with our dead end? Is anything through here? Let's go ahead and see. Digger shovel. Let's use the shovel just for the sake of speed. Anything through the dirt here? No idea how far we down. How far down we are. Speak the English in the proper order, please, sir. But in any case, uh, we need to see that there's nothing here. Nothing here whatsoever. Okay, forget about that idea. We have plenty of cave up above. We need to go ahead and try to find some lava. Try to find some lava to head to the nether if we can survive this version. Ideally, we shall do so, but we may or may not be able to. We shall see if we can succeed. But there have been mo uh, modes, loads more changes. Loads more changes, such as creepers have new sound. Stairs, crafting tables, chests, and furnaces now face the same direction as the player when placed. Do crafting tables have a direction? Oh, they have a saw on the side, and they have, like, pliers or something on the front. Hmm, that is interesting. Crafting tables apparently have a direction. Very interesting indeed. Okay, we've got our axe here. Oh, we got another piece of iron. We shall grab all of that that we can on the way down, because that is very useful stuff. There are also the changes that we shall get to the version that the changes have occurred in later. The changes such as... Pressing F1, you guys saw at the beginning of the video that we actually started in front view, because now it is different than the newer ones. So you can go and press F5, you can see the back view. If you hold F1, uh, it, why didn't it... Oh, because we went back a version, of course. But if you hold F1 well in F5 mode, then you go ahead and see the front view, which is very nice indeed. Very nice indeed. Okay, let's go ahead and block this off from spiders. At least somebody won't be able to come through. Okay, there we go. Let's go ahead and place down a torch and see this is the wrong way to go to get to lava, it looks like. Looks like. Let's go ahead and block this off and try to get through. There we go. Okay, let's see if we can get to any lava this way. Whoa, this looks like a dangerous place to be when you die and switch back a version because there's a cave there, there's a cave there, there's a cave over there. Yeah, this is the wrong place to be. Let's go. Let's go, forget this, forget this, this is very dangerous, very dangerous, we are not going to stay there. We are, however, going to get this iron, that seems like a worthy cause. Also a dangerous cause, because we should really be getting out of here as quickly as possible. Um, that is going to take way too much work to try to block off those caves. It is going to take way too long, and we're probably going to die in the meantime, which is not very good. So, okay. Apparently sunrise now creates a red glow around the horizon. There's some more iron here. Ooh, nice. Okay, let's go ahead and grab that. Grab the second piece. There we go. And... And... Fake chunks now generate in the Far Lands, and it removed Winter Mode as well. Winter Mode, if you guys didn't see that, we can now sneak. We mustn't forget that. That is very helpful. Okay, that is a cave down there. We should probably head down there, actually. Because we need... Am I hearing a skeleton? No. You guys hear something... Sounded like something moving around. Sounded like the um, like the the skeleton, like the the skeleton walking around before they redid the sound effects or something. 
it's like sounds like something it's musical too musical to be a skeleton it's like um i don't know it's it's weird okay we got some sounds we got some sounds indeed okay time to head down we should start back here so that we can actually make it down and actually build a staircase. Ah! What's happening? What's happening? Okay, okay, that was quite a uh, startling thing. What do we need to do here? We need to pull out our sword quickly. We need to go ahead and spin around because there's probably a skeleton behind us or something. Not entirely sure exactly what's going on here, but we need to go ahead and go and find that. Oh, you know what happened? We made it through. That's what happened. Okay, let's go ahead and eat our pork chop just quickly. That was quite a scare. Okay, um, the skeleton is there. Um, that's the problem, is that we made it through and there is a skeleton down there. We don't have anything to... No water, no lava, nothing to, uh, take him out from range. That's why we're trying to get a bow, why we're trying to go through the nether to get to a bow. We need to go ahead and grab some pork chops very quickly. Um, yeah, let's go ahead and put down our compass for now. Because we need the pork chops to be helpful. Oh, and... The timer is done, which means that it is time to switch versions. <laughs> so guess what? We're probably going to switch versions here, and then promptly die to a skeleton, and then switch back. But we shall try it anyway. So see you guys momentarily in the next version. We have now moved on once again to version 1.2 underscore, uh, 1.2.0 underscore 0.2. Um, we have three bad options coming our way. We also have a zombie coming our way somewhere. But just before we do that, as you can see, F5 mode and you press F1 and you can see front view, as we were saying earlier. But in any case, we have to fight the skeleton here. Uh, if he's still there? He's not still there! Oh! Unless he just walked away a little bit. Or maybe the version change cancelled the skeleton. We were going to say that we have three bad options. We have the option of Fight the skeleton, or die. Like If we survive, we have to fight the skeleton, basically. Or we can die and then go back a version, in which case we have to fight the skeleton again because we restore from a backup. Or we could die again, go back all the way to the house and try to do this all over again. Um, but it appears that the skeleton is gone, which is very nice. Now, we do need to get... Sounds like there is a zombie in place of the skeleton. So we need to go ahead and get a torch down if we can. Nope, that would be the skeleton. Is that the skeleton? Uh, hello? There's something down there. Oh, that would be the skeleton. Yep, the skeleton's there. Okay, okay, okay. Uh, at least we were expecting it that time. Um, hopefully nothing comes down from above. We didn't exactly light everything up as well as it should have been. So we should really protect behind us. That's what we should probably do. So let's go ahead and fill this in just quickly here. Make sure nothing can follow. Okay. And also we can't get out then if we need to. Also we have lost our boots and the rest of our armor is about to die and our sword is about to die. So yeah, we are in a very bad situation. Should we even bother to try to get down there? That is the first question. We could, of course, try to bridge over, but the skeleton will likely shoot us off of the bridge. Hmm. Uh, you know what? Rather than fighting this here skeleton, let's go ahead and run around this direction. Because we can probably see the way that cave comes from over there. Okay, I'm hearing zombies. Don't know if you guys can hear them. Hopefully the game volume is loud enough. If it's not, then uh, let me know and I can go ahead and try to change it. Uh, but if we go, there looks... Did, did we just hear a sheep? Are we that close to the surface that we just heard a sheep? Okay, well then. Um, yeah, we just heard a sheep. Okay. We should get a better sword, first of all. We, we could probably go through that cave down there to get through to the other cave around the other way. We want to get down as quickly as possible to try to find some lava, and we want to actually find a cave rather than the other time that we didn't find anything. Uh, let's get a sword going. Let's get a couple of swords going. Before we have iron. Actually, we have loads more iron. We should get an iron sword, shouldn't we? Yeah, let's get a second iron sword. There we go. 
only one because we don't want to use up all of our iron. Am I hearing a something? There's some strange noise going on over here. Okay, this is not this is not good. Something is something is weird. There's something that we're hearing. I'm just gonna turn up the game volume a little bit. All right, these sounds have been fixed. We do have a problem of I forgot to start the timer. So um, let's make a guess. Maybe we have 17 minutes left on this Minecraft day. So let's start that and then try to find where we're going. Now, um, the skeleton is actually right there. He's shooting into the coal here. So we could, oh, he just moved. I thought we could get down there and try to um, get rid of the skeleton without the skeleton being able to get rid of us but that doesn't appear to have worked so because he moved so okay so we shall need to go around we are going to do the go going around thing and can you guys hear that sheep now he was there okay anyways old minecraft sounds seem to be a little bit weird so in any case we need to go ahead and try to head through here see if we can get through here without dying hopefully no monsters come from the side we need to go ahead and eat our pork chops so that we do not die there's a bunch of open area up above that monsters could come through uh huh we need to uh we need to go up i think light it up because there's no way we can close this with the amount of blocks that we have right now so we need to go up and try to close this before monsters come down from the ceiling. Uh huh. Yeah, they can come from this way. They can come from this way. We are trying to find lava. We are trying to get to underground, and it is easier said than done. A lot easier said than done. Okay, whoa, okay, there's more darkness over there. And that appears to be the end, actually, of the cave, is it? The end of this cave over here? Yes, it is. Okay. So as long as it is lit up enough, we should be safe from behind here. Okay, well then, we need to continue heading down here, try to survive this day, and it appears to be daytime right now. I'll be back with you guys when it is pretty much nighttime, and we will go ahead and try to survive this. Unless, of course, things get crazy in the meantime, which they could. Did I just see a zombie no I didn't okay I'll be back with you guys later we're gonna be exploring the caves for a while and hopefully not dying actually you know I said I'd go off camera but this is pretty intense here so I'm gonna go ahead and try to that would be the skeleton bouncing up and down behind that wall there let's try to light this up if we can uh, okay time to run time to find a safe place to hide because we are very much out in the open right now. Oh, and that is very much a... Uh, okay, I thought that was a skeleton. That's just a cave. Okay, we are so much in the open right now. We are not in a good situation at all. Um, where do we find uh, a place to be defended and hide? Okay, we need to make one. We need to make one. We need to go ahead and build this in right here. There we go. So, not that we need to stay here, but we need to have some place we can hide in the case of an emergency and such emergencies could come much sooner than we expect when there's skeletons around okay so yes what we shall do is we shall defend this cave first of all we cannot go down every pathway at once so let's go ahead and block that off and let's go ahead and we do need some more blocks for sure that's the only way we can make this work because we are almost out of blocks we need to go ahead and use our pickaxe to get some more blocks as quickly as possible and survive against that skeleton which is right through the wall it looks like he can get through at any moment and we just used up another pickaxe okay there we go let's get a full ish stack although we don't have the time for that we need to go ahead and block this off now uh-huh well then let's go ahead and we got 46 that's better than nothing um what is up there we don't want to know we just want to block it off block it off like this most likely that's not where we want to go anyways because it is up and most likely the lava is down the skeleton was straight through there he could probably go around somewhere he could probably go around somewhere 
Um, let's go ahead and light that up. Oh, there's the zombie down there. If you guys can hear that, hopefully you guys can hear that. But, uh, yeah, so with the zombie being down there, we need to be prepared to fight the zombie without a bow. Because we still don't have a bow. And the skeleton could come around from that direction at any time. He's right behind the wall there. He's going to be able to shoot us through the hole in the wall. And this keyboard doesn't like to do left right handed whatever the word is okay we got some problems here speaking of intense this is intense okay so the skeleton is through there let's see if we can get through we can't go there's two of them can we hit them we can hit them through the wall okay and we just lost our sword okay let's go ahead and uh, we might as well use up our stone sword Okay, since we can hit them through the wall, we are pretty safe right now. They cannot shoot us through the wall, but we can hit them through the wall. You can keep hearing the uh, the skeleton attacking sound effects that we are doing right there. Okay. They appear to have left, though. Anybody through here? Hello? Anybody through here? I'm just inviting them to shoot. And they are just completely ignoring us. Okay, then. It would be best to take them out before we venture that direction. Because once we venture that direction, then that's not going to be good. Okay, let's go ahead and attack this zombie. He's going to start following us, but we can hopefully... Oh, he's just going to ignore us. Okay. Well then, that's one thing to do. Just ignore us. Thank you very much. Come on over here. Come on out. Come on out. Come on out. Okay, okay. Let's try to get this guy... Oh, we didn't take any damage. That is very good. Okay, so now we can go ahead and torch this place place some torches in this place and is that a pathway up above that is a pathway up above okay there's plenty of iron around here but we can't grab any of the iron we're gonna have zombies showing up behind us because there's a pathway up above that we did not close off okay um we need to go ahead and close this off this is a very dangerous adventure. Oh, the, speaking of zombie. Hello, zombie. Goodbye, zombie. Jump down, please. Or just stay there and let me hit you. Okay, that would work, too. That would work, too. Uh-huh. We got rid of that guy. Okay, there we go. We are safe. We can go ahead and actually head through here and light this up. Let's go ahead and light this up. There's still a pathway down below, but this pathway is well defended. We can go ahead and grab some iron. And that is excellent indeed. Be back with you guys once we get all this iron that is around in the walls. Okay, I just broke that iron piece and almost fell down into wherever that is down there. No idea. It looks a little bit bright, so either I put a torch down there or there's lava. Hopefully there's lava and it's a torch. Okay, well then. But it looks like we cannot get... Okay, we are kind of stuck here. Um, okay, we made it up without falling down. Uh, we need to go ahead and plug up this hole here, because if any monsters do happen to spawn through here, they can fall right on our heads, which is not very good. So there we go. It is now defended, except for spiders. Of course, except for spiders. It's always except for spiders. So let's just ignore that, though, and hope that no spiders decide to show up. And going to keep grabbing the iron and be back with you guys once we go ahead and head down farther. All right, grabbed all the iron that I could find along the way. We got 29 iron now, which is very nice. We need to go ahead and continue down here. And we really need to grab some cobblestone on the way. Oh, well, this is the wrong way to go. Oh, except for some more iron. Well, that is nice. We've got more iron. Wait, you hear a zombie? Zombies through here. Somewhere. Roughly in this direction roughly in this direction yes there's a cave here sounds are very helpful good thing we have them now that is very nice indeed okay i'm gonna go ahead and make more torches grab this iron and be back with you guys once we're ready to go ahead and go through there okay we are ready to head through we have picked up that iron we are now up to 38 iron which is very good hopefully we don't die because if we die we switch back to version and lose all of our iron which is not very good not very good at all oh and as you can hear, this isn't the place to be right now. It sounds like there's lots of crazy things happening around here, and we do not want any of it. Okay, we need to go ahead and uh, block this off as quickly as possible. That's where the torch is not supposed to be. Okay. Well, that would be one direction fixed. Uh, we need to plug up this direction or just simply light it up 
it goes quite long, so we need to go ahead and uh, try to, you know what, let's just go like that. Uh, actually, this, let, let's block off the skeletons, they will come from below, so let's go like that. There we go, they should not be able to follow through here. Nope, they're good. Okay, so now we can, yeah, this is not the place to be right now. This is a giant open cave. A giant open cave, and we are probably, uh, don't fall down there. Okay, um, well, it looks like, surprisingly, we might be safe from monsters for the time being because they can't climb up here. As long as they, is that a zombie? That's a zombie. As long as the skeletons cannot shoot us from down there, we should be safe. Theory, it looks like even spiders probably can't make it up here. Okay, well then, which way should we go? Should we go this way, or should we go through the other way? The other direction, let's go this way. Whoa, okay, this is a giant open cave. Giant open cave, this is not the way to go either. If you want to survive, uh, yeah, that's a, is that a creeper? That looks like a creeper. Let's go ready with our blocks. Yeah, okay, this... That looked like a creeper back there. This looks like a giant open cave, and we don't want anything to do with a giant open cave right about now. So let's go the other direction and grab some iron on the way by. In between the last clip and this one, we have now two furnaces smelting iron because we have a lot of iron, so we can actually upgrade our gear and repair it, which will be very good when we're down here with all these crazy caves and monsters and things. Um, yeah, we have more cave to get to down there, but the timer is up, which means new version every sunrise. We are going to get to the new version next episode. We have a load of iron here ready to go. We're going to make some armor, most likely, as long as I remember, hopefully. And uh, yes, yeah, so we're going to make some armor. We're going to get our gear upgraded and ready to tackle these caves hopefully try to actually survive and then we can make it into the nether and then we can make it back home to get the gold unless we get gold in the meantime and get a clock so that we can then be underground in the caves without needing a timer to keep track of when the sunlight is yeah and then we can make a bow and then we can actually do some combat fights a little bit better because we will have a ranged weapon which would be very ideal we can get a bow most of our materials are back at the main base we are gonna head on to that in the future episodes and hope you guys enjoyed this video and see you guys in the next episode